<laughs> so, Chip, when you play the stone hitting game, you have to put the stone up straight. You lose when your stone gets hit and falls down. Do you understand? <laughs> I got it, Dory. <laughs> You ready? Here we go! Come on! Yippee! Wow! Good job, Bobby! We are losing, you know. It's my turn now! You can never beat me! Oh no! Your stone is broken, Dury! Again, one more time. But how? Your stone is broken. I'll get a new one. I'll find a real solid stone and beat you. Let's go, Chip. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 it's too small. And this one is uh, too big. Oh, I can't find the right one. Wow! Oh. Hmm? Look, look at this! How's this one? It has pretty patterns. It's the right size. And it's not too heavy or too light. Great! We found it! <laughs> Yeah. Ta-da! Cool, isn't it? Wow! Awesome! It even has patterns! Well, that doesn't make any difference. I'll knock it down anyway. Well, let's play and find out. <laughs> All right. I'm going first this time. <laughs> Watch carefully. This is how you play the stone hitting game. <laughs> Huh? How come the stone is there? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> you missed the stone. Oh, you missed the stone. <laughs> Yuri, your stone has moved, so this move here shouldn't count. Jack, what are you talking about? How can a stone move? She's right. A stone can't move. It really did. Before, it was here. But now, it's moved to there. Uh, uh, no way. Hey, listen to what hey, I say. Guys. I'm the master of this uh, game. Uh, uh, the stone! What's wrong with it? It's moving! What? Hey, it's not moving at all! It really huh? did, trust me! Chip, what's wrong with you? What's so special about this? It's an ordinary stone! Huh? 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 Where am I? What's happened? Mom! There's a stone that moves! And it talks! Hmm? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a tortoise! It's not a stone, it's a tortoise! A tortoise? Mm, yes, a tortoise lives in fresh water. Hey, y'all! Hello, Hello tortoise. tortoise! But how did you get here? Tortoises usually live near the river. I was taking a nap near the riverside, then... Um, we brought him here because we thought that he was a stone. Oh, so that's what happened. He resembles a stone when he hides himself in the hard shell. Mm. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Tortoise, for bringing you here. I didn't know. Ah, no problem, friends. If you get confused again, next time, rub one side and ask, are you a tortoise or a stone? Just like this. Are you a tortoise or a stone? Good. And if it's me, I will answer you, I'm a tortoise. If it's a stone, <laughs> will it say, I'm a stone? <laughs> <laughs> We're here! Are you a tortoise or a stone? I'm a tortoise! I'm a tortoise! I'm a tortoise! He has lots of friends here! Thanks, friends, for bringing me here. 
safe with that. Wow! <laughs> I wish I was as big as, as big as Mr. Black Bear! Yeah, then I would be able to reach things that are high above. Then why don't you tell your wish to Granny Fox? Granny, Granny Fox? Fox? Mm -hmm. Yes, Granny Fox lives deep in the forest, hidden, and grants wishes with her magical powers! Wow! wow. <laughs> Kids, slow down. Granny Fox, are you there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you call me? Wow. We heard that you can grant wishes with your magical powers. Uh -huh. Is that true? Yeah, yes it is. So, what is your wish? We want to become giants! Yes, bigger than the trees! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not very difficult to turn you into giants. But before that, I have a story to tell you. Huh? A story? It's the story of a giant pheasant who lived in the forest a long, long time ago. Ready now? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant pheasant in a forest. Hello there. The giant pheasant quickly became <laughs> friends with the animals in the forest. When his friends were in trouble, he could easily solve the problem. <laughs> and he would bring down the stars for his friends who were afraid of the dark. Ooh, ooh. Ta -da! <laughs> wow! You brought down the stars! All the forest animals loved the pheasant and praised their friend frequently. Wow, it's really cool to be a giant. <laughs> Granny Fox, please turn us into giants. Oh, not so fast, little pheasants. There's more to the story. There were also hard times for the giant pheasant. <laughs> the giant pheasant would blow his friends away with a sneeze. <laughs> or he would spoil games with his huge body. Hey, let me play with you. <laughs> he would even scare his friends when they were asleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> My head! I'm sorry, guys. And so all of his friends left and he became lonely. 
In the end, the giant pheasant left the forest. So, as a giant, we couldn't play in the water. And we'd be too big to fit in the nest. So then, who is first in line to become a giant? Oh, I don't want to be a giant! <laughs> Me neither. I like the way it is now. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, Granny Fox! Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ladybug. <laughs> Welcome to Dury's Hospital. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I see you have a headache. You need to get an injection. Now. There. You'll get better now. <laughs> now, who's next? You, Bobby? Me? I don't want any shots. Then you, Jack? I'm not sick. I don't want to play this anymore. Let's play tag! I'll be the tagger! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Chip? Hey! Where are you going? We were playing hospital. Oh, they left. Who should I treat now? Nina, Nina! Hmm? Nina, Nina! Huh? The branches are drooping. What are you doing? Oh, I was taking care of the young pine tree. I think it needs more water. You see? The soil is all dry here. Oh, you're right. In this case, we need to give it plenty of water. How much? Um, about five acorn cups. Do you think you could help me? Sure. <laughs> All right, it's done. Now wait for a moment. Wow, the little pines got nice and healthy again. Who are you? I'm Ladybug. I heal sick plants. <laughs> Oh, that means you're a doctor. Me too. <laughs> so, how about healing the forest plants together? Huh? There are lots and lots of plants that need help. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, okay, ready to go? <laughs> Nina, Nina. Nina, Nina. Oh, over there. <laughs> oh, the balsam flower's wilting. Let's see. The ground is wet. There is enough water. Mm, well then... Ah! Sunlight! Hey, we came up with the same idea. Yeah, the vine is too thick and it's blocking the sunlight. Vine, can you move a little bit? The balsam needs some sunlight. <laughs> Catch me if you can! I'll get you, Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> it's Dory. What is she doing? Let's go. Dory! <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? I'm healing the balsam flower. <laughs> Look! Wow. wow! The balsam flower came to life again. Let's join them. <gasps> All right. <laughs> then let's go. Nina, Nina. It's going to break if we leave it like that. Let's put a bandage around it. <laughs> yes, first, let's straighten up the branch. Uh, uh, that way. Yes, yes, a little more. Stretch your wing a little more. Chicks. Oh. 
we tried to fix the grapevine's branch. But it's completely broken. Then we'd better plant it. What? We can plant it? Mm-hmm. Yes, if we plant the branch in the ground, then it'll grow into a new grapevine. Oh, Mom, will the vine make fruits again? <laughs> you got it. And finished. It's all planted. <laughs> it will grow again now. I hope it'll grow really quickly. <laughs> My chicks have healed the grapevine. Because we're the best doctors in the forest. <laughs> now, should we go take care of the other plants? <laughs> Yay!